The secret formula to custom thumbnails. In this video, I'm gonna share with you our special free cheat sheet on how to create great custom thumbnails that increase your click-through rate and get you more views on your YouTube videos. If you wanna get your own copy, click on the link in the description below and you can download our free cheat sheet. Custom thumbnails are the most important part of our YouTube game. Because if you can't get people to click on your videos, you're never gonna get any views. So it's so important to learn how to craft and create great custom thumbnails that get you more clicks and get you more views on your YouTube video. The formula that we're sharing with you today is the exact formula that we've used to get over 300,000 views on our videos. Before you even think about starting to create videos for your YouTube channel, I want you to make sure that you plan your custom thumbnails. Most people will shoot an entire video and then during the upload process, they suddenly start thinking about what they should do for their custom thumbnails. Now by planning ahead and getting organized, you can make sure that you're creating high quality thumbnails that are gonna increase the clickability and get you more views. I don't ever want you to create a video and then your last thought in uploading the video is trying to suddenly rush and create a custom thumbnail. If you can plan and get organized, then you can make sure that you're always creating high quality thumbnails that'll get you more clicks. So what is clickability? Clickability is the percentage chance that someone's gonna click on your video when it appears as an impression on their YouTube feed. The higher your click-through rate, the more YouTube's gonna push your video out on the platform. And an increased click-through rate is gonna lead to more impressions and more views. As you get more views, YouTube will reward you by pushing your video out more and more. And if you've got a good custom thumbnail, then you're gonna be getting amazing click-through rates and you're gonna be racking up those views on your videos. The second fundamental of good custom thumbnails is a high quality image. No more of these screen grabs from your video. Please, please stop using those screen grabs. They're terrible. I want you to take high quality images that you can use for your custom thumbnails. If you plan and get organized, you'll know exactly what kind of image you need to capture to create a great custom thumbnail. You have to get your ugly face on that custom thumbnail. No matter how you feel about it, no matter how much you don't want your face on your custom thumbnails, it's so important to put yourself out there. People connect with you as a person. They connect by recognizing your face and your brand. They want to see your face on the custom thumbnails and it's gonna help you increase your click-through rate and get you more views. Is that not what you want? You need to push past that fear, capture an image of your face and stick it on your custom thumbnail. Are you nervous of putting your face on your custom thumbnail? Let us know in the comment section down below. Use a bold and eye-catching color. We like to put recognizable colors in the background of our custom thumbnails. This helps create consistency for our brand and helps people recognize your videos in the mountain of videos there are out there on YouTube. If you go back to our channel and have a look at our older videos, you'll see what kind of colors we've used in the background of our custom thumbnails. When we first started out, we were using a bright, bright green color, and that worked really well for us to get momentum and get those initial clicks. Then we moved on to a bright yellow and orange color. This increased our click-through rate and got us even more momentum and more views on YouTube, which helped YouTube push out our videos onto the platform and started that snowball effect. Right now, we're busy testing out a bright light blue color. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think of our new color or if we should go back to one of the older colors we've used. Always add an interesting element to your custom thumbnails. We like to add elements that are relevant to the video. A lot of the elements that we've used in the past are icons from Photoshop and Lightroom and Premiere Pro. We've also used the YouTube play button a lot like we did in this video. And the most effective element that we've used is the Apple logo. We've created a few videos that are specifically made for Mac users. And you know how loyal Apple customers are. So as soon as they see that Apple logo, they know the video is made for them. It makes them more likely to click on the video, increases the clickability of our video, and gets us more views. And then YouTube comes along and rewards us 
by pushing out our video on the platform and accelerating our views on the video. Size matters, most guys won't say so, but it really does. You need to understand that your custom thumbnail is gonna appear in a whole lot of different sizes in different places on YouTube, depending on what device people are viewing YouTube on. Most people these days are watching YouTube on their phone, so your thumbnail is gonna come across really small. So you need to make sure that the elements, your face, and the text that you use on your custom thumbnail is still readable and looks good in a really small size on a cell phone. Other devices people are gonna be using is an iPad, a laptop, and some people even watch YouTube on a TV. So make sure that when your thumbnail's really big on a big laptop screen or on a big TV screen, that it still looks good and appealing and keeps that clickability rate really high. Stand out from the crowd. You need to create custom thumbnails that stand out in the sea of videos that are on the YouTube platform. YouTube uses a lot of red, white, and black on the platform. So when we're crafting our custom thumbnails, we're looking for colors that are gonna stand out on the platform, that aren't gonna blend in with the platform or the other videos that are on there. That's why we use bright colors and we like to edit our custom thumbnails into high contrast, high saturation images. So it pops out from the crowd. You need to stand out in the sea of videos, otherwise no one's gonna see your video and click on it and start watching. If you can get your video to pop out from the crowd, lots of people are gonna click on your video and start watching. YouTube's gonna recognize the increase in your click-through rate and push out your video on the platform, which is gonna get you more views because you've got a good custom thumbnail, people are gonna click on it and you're gonna get more and more and more views. That's gonna rack up on your videos. This will start the snowball rolling, which is gonna gain momentum for your channel and complement all your videos, giving you more views on more videos. So if you're ready to get started creating great custom thumbnails, head down to the description, click on the link, and you can get access to our secret formula to creating great custom thumbnails. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button and leave us a comment what your YouTube channel is all about. If you wanna learn how to get more views on your YouTube channel, build your business and build your influence online, then head down to the description where we've got a link for you to download a cheat sheet on how to get more views on your videos when you're just starting out on YouTube. We wanna know from you what you think the best color is for your custom thumbnails. Let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.